Hello everybody, welcome back to Photoshop Magic. Uh, my name is Sopal and we are going to continue with part two for uh, Taylor Swift vertical panel effect. Okay, so without further ado, I already explained everything in uh, part one. If you haven't seen it, it's in the description below. Okay, so we have a, you know, before and after right here of, you know, this advertisement of Taylor Swift. Uh, it's totally free to use and we, I was able to make this really cool awesome effect and I, you know, didn't cover her face right here, which is good. Cause that's what you want you don't want the you know the subject's face to be covered and it makes it look kind of cool it's almost as she's you know behind the panel okay so without further ado we're just going to get started because it's only a 10 minute long video and if you haven't if you find values in my work uh consider subscribing and at the very least uh, pause the video and push the like button it really does help the channel a lot in terms of uh getting seen because without these like buttons the YouTube algorithm would not suggest this video to, you know, much people. Okay, so we're just going to continue on. Okay, so we left off where we're about to make changes to this rectangle itself. And what we're going to need to do is make sure that rectangle one is highlighted and we are going to right click on the FX and we're going to click on blending options. Okay, so within here, we have to make some changes to it, to the actual layer itself. Uh, we need to go to the bottom uh, left option and we're going to click on drop shadow. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. We're going to click on that center right here. It will automatically make a check. And we are going, we can change the color, okay? So this is the shadow itself. So if we were look, looking at this, uh, you know, thumbnail right here, it's turquoise, okay? So turquoise, like light blue. So we are going to make it light blue, okay? Uh, it remembers from the last one that, I, that you know, that I did. So we're just going to do that. And then click on OK. Perfect. And I think that looks really nice. So opacity, you know, it's how how bright it is. No, not how bright. I mean, how intense it is. So if you want to test it out, you can like left click hold and drag it to zero, which means it doesn't exist. Almost as if there's nothing there at all. So it really depends on how intense it is. So you can just make it 100 if you want, or just like around like 90 would be good. You can have you know a little bit of a shade in there. And distance, you want to keep the distance. Everything else, you want to just keep the same. Uh, so cool. Okay, and the next one that we want, so you can actually make any of these you know changes that you want. So right now the distance is at zero. So if I were to change the distance, now it's no longer going to be centered. I want it to be centered, so I'm going to keep it at zero. Okay. So spread is how like long it is that you want. So, you know, it's your choice. Um, you know, this example, this tutorial is meant to like, help guide you not to help you make that decision. So you can make any color that you want, obviously, right? So once done, you have to go to the stroke uh, section right here. We're going to click in the center. Again, click in the center. It will automatically create this check right here. And it will show up in here also. So this one is the color. If we were to look back, it's going to be purple. Okay. So I, I like the purple on there because uh, I, I think it looks best with this, uh, you know, light blue. So we are going to change the color from black to purple, just like so. And we're going to left click, hold and drag somewhere in this purple. We're going to click OK. And you want the size to be a little bit bigger. It's too small because you can't even see it at all. So you want it to be around like 38 or so okay i think that looks nice and you want it to be positioned outside the reason why is because it doesn't cut up into the picture okay if you don't do that it's going to cut up in the, into the picture and after that we're just going to click okay and there you go we have our first panel okay so the next thing that we have to do is that we have to group the Taylor Swift copy layer with the rectangle one. Okay, so anything that we do to that particular group, it doesn't affect, you know, anything else. Okay, so because the rectangle one's already highlighted, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the control button, which is the CTRL, bottom left of the keyboard, hold it down. I'm going to left click on the Taylor's S copy, and it will select both of them instead of deselecting the first one. Okay, so now that they're both selected, there's many different options that you can do. So you can just right click on it and uh, group if you'd be able to see it in there. And it's also a shortcut. Okay, so to group it, you go to layer, you go to the layer section right here and you go to layer tab, new. So go to new, 
and then group from layers. Okay, so we're going to click on that and we're going to name it appropriately. So in this case, we're going to name it panel. Okay, so we're going to click on okay. And there you have it. Okay, so it's been grouped. Uh, if you click on this arrow right here, drop down arrow, we're going to click on it. It's going to bring out the group within it of all the different effects that we have within the stroke and drop shadow. Okay, so we're going to, you know, put it back in there. So we don't want to mess with this original panel. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to left click hold and drag it down here to the plus sign with a square around it to make a copy of it. And you will see a panel copy. And before we do anything else, we're going to, uh, you know, expand it out and we are going to come to just this rectangle itself. And then we, we are going to go to the move tool and we're going to uh, use a free transform tool, which is the shortcut for being able to move it around. We're going to tap the control button, CTRL, and we're going to tap T. And, and, and then you're going to see this one, which means that if you left click, hold and drag it, you can actually see that it's a brand new, you know, panel and it does not affect the original one at all. So this one, uh, I don't like it to keep it, you know, the same. I like it to have a little different effect. It's going to either be a little bit taller or a little bit sh uh, down here. It's up to us. But we don't want to cut her head out. So uh, we don't want it to be down here where, it, you know, part of her head is getting cut out. It doesn't look good. Okay, so we're going to come up here a little bit. And we're going to uh, come outside. And you will see this curved arrow right here. We're going to left click, hold and drag. Be able to move it out, you know, around. And I like this one because we're able to see all of her face. If you can't see it, um, you're going to have to left click, hold and drag it out, expand it out a little bit more. I would rather have the the frame, you know, this panel go out of frame a little bit. It's okay as long as we can still see your face because, you know, it just looks a lot better. So I kind of like it the way it is right now. So we're going to click on the check mark and there you have it, our second panel. Okay. And we're going to keep on doing this until we reach the end and it's going to look really nice. So again, we're going to click on this arrow to bring it back up and we are going to left click hold and drag to this plus sign with the square around it and there you have it okay so now let's save our work okay because we never know if something were to happen or the program freezes uh, so we're gonna hold the control button now we're gonna tap S it's super simple it takes like a few seconds if you see down here like it got saved already it took like three seconds right the reason why it took so long usually only takes like a second is because we have many many different layers right here up to groups and stuff so it can take the computer a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to continue with that one. So we're going to expand this. We are going to click on the rectangle, click on the move tool, control T, and now we can actually move it again. Okay, so in this time we can actually, you know, move it left or right. And as long as we don't cover her face, I think this looks nice. So we're going to move it out here a little bit and we're going to continue it like that. I think this. This looks perfect. So we're gonna put the check mark right there, and we are going to just continue on, okay, to make it look nice. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, shrink it back in. We're gonna left click, hold, and drag it back to this plus with a square around it to make another copy. Expand it out. Click on the first rectangle. Click on the move tool. Control T. Keep moving it around. And this one, I kind of want to capture this uh, bottle right here of the perfume. So we're gonna left left click, hold, and drag. I'm going to make it to the left, okay? Because I think it will add some dynamic to this. Yeah, I think that looks nice. We're going to make it a little bit smaller, just like so. It's a little bit too straight. There you have it. And there you have it. It's all done. So just make sure you tap on this uh, check mark right here. And there's many different options that you can do too to make this very unique. So. As you can see, this one right here, the uh, panel copy three, uh, within there, you can actually just you know go back to the FX. We're going to right click on it, go to the blending options, and you can actually change the color around to so make it very unique. Okay, so we're going to go back to drop shadow. Instead of this one, we're going to you know uh, put it red, just to make it you know very distinct, so you can actually see it. As you can see, it changes on the spot to red. We're going to click OK, and we're going to left click on drag right here, so it's totally red. And you can, you know, make this uh, spread a little bit more bigger. There you go. And then you can go back to stroke and you can change this color too. You can change this to yellow. Just make more distinct, just like so. There you go. It's, it's you know, it's your own project. You have a different photo. Um, and this is just like a blueprint for you to be able to, to get to the right spots. Okay. As always, if you haven't clicked on the like button already, 
uh, please, if you find any value at all within my content, at the very least, pause this video and tap on that like button. It takes a few seconds before this goes on to the next video. And, you know, you missed the opportunity. And if you haven't already, uh, you know, subscribe and, you know, feel free to share my content and, uh, you know, comment below also. And I hope you have an amazing day. Okay. And lastly, don't forget to save your work. So we are going to go to file and we're going to click on save as. So if you haven't, you know, I've always said in my other videos too, save as it's totally different from save in the fact that it does not affect the original save. And it's a, it could be a different name. It could be a different location. It's all up to you. And it could be, there's no limit to how many save as you can do. So this one, we're going to put final with different, different color, just like so. And then the first one, you should always have it in Photoshop format. And then we click, click on okay. So it's going to take a little while. We're going to let this finish first before uh, going to file again. We're going to click on save as, and we're going to keep it the same name, but we're going to change the format a little bit to JPEG. So we can actually view it. Okay. Just like so. And there you have it. Click on the like button. Uh, okay. So have a great day.